All right, everyone. So just from that last email, um, I clicked the link. So we clicked the link and we're taking to that page. And this is a Copilot Docs page. And this video, by the way, is just a quick, quick, quick demo as to how to install it, how to make it enabled. And um, so that it just works, right? So get on Copilot. You can get started with VS Code, Visual Studio, or uh, maybe JetBrains, uh, NeoVim, which I have no idea what it is. Um, and you can also visit the homepage for, for Thor. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we can go through. So big fan of Visual Studio Code. So we're gonna do Visual Studio Code for our, our, our sake. And if we click on the link, we're taking to this page where there's a whole bunch of information on how to install it. And basically this takes you to, takes you to this page, which then open up code, which takes you to this page. And I have a whole bunch of extension, like don't look at my extensions and we're going to just install it. And if you don't have access, it will show you a message that is exactly what they say on the web page. Um, oh, before, right before. On the doc page, it, it tell you like, oh, you don't have access to Copilot. I, I did not get this message. However, I did get a pop up before that says, hey, you have to authorize the um, connection. So that that is fine. Um, and now they want us to create a JavaScript file. But if all of you know, like, I'm I'm not a big fan. Like, I, yeah, I am a big fan of JavaScript, but I'm a bigger fan of C sharp, and I like to go off demo, right? Like, oh, that is a, like the path we want you to take you in. And I hate that. Like, I want to do my own path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, like, I already have a, f a folder created. So I'm going to press control tilde to open up the terminal. You can do that by just like new terminal or just, I think it's view terminal. This one is good as well. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a .NET new console, simple application. Just want to test it out. It's gonna automatically create the files that I need. I can just open up this file and say hello GitHub Copilot. And so this is kind of a basic template, but I wanna make sure that we can just do, um, like we, we wanna calculate the amount of days between dates, right? So first let's make sure that the casing is right and we wanna return an integer and we kind of want, <laughs> Okay, um, is that a problem? Like, I, I, I don't see it as a problem, right? Like, okay, let's press tab. Like, I did not know what it was gonna, like, I'll put out of this and we get, get this. So let's do our test. Console.writeLine um, days, days between two dates. Oh my God. Um, we're going to do uh, a little bit of late days between dates. We're going to between now and, um, you know, we're going to swap those two because otherwise it's not going to work. Um, there you go. And I think that should work, right? If so we just do a quick .NET run below, we should have the output of that video and let's give it a second. It on Android 12. So that was Copilot, right? Let's take it up a notch. Let's see, uh, like what else do they got in the demo? Uh, seeing your first suggestion. So you just press tab. For any given input, Copilot can provide multiple suggestions. As a developer, you're always in charge. You can select which suggestion to use or reject them all. <clears throat> Instead of pressing tab on Windows, press alt that thing, uh, square bracket. Okay, so we can alternate between them. Let's redo that code again, okay? Uh, let's take this same thing, calculate days between dates, but we're going to do it again, right? So now we already have kind of an input as to what the, um, we want and like <laughs> already it's pretty good. So let's do this alt thing, right? Like next suggestion. 
Like I, I, I'm, I'm doing like alt like front and back. I'm, I'm doing the the alternate version. And now it looks like there's only two version of it. You can just do this or this. This is good, right? That's kind of like what we want. Oh, you don't press enter, you just, um, can I do suggestion here? Yeah, okay, you have to press tab. And you save, and if I had done it run again, it should just work. Wow. Okay. That is amazing. And by the way, this is off the cuff video. I have no script. I don't know where I'm going with this. Wow. Okay. This is a little bit maddening. Wait, what? Hold on. We need more demos. We need more demos. Calculate days between dates. Uh, let's do another thing. Um, console dot right line um, count uppercase letters in a string and <laughs> all right fine github like you win i'm gonna take this and we want to create this right so we want to generate that method so okay so they were saying that if you press Control enter it, it does show you a way to yeah, control enter. So let's do that. And so let's do it again. R remove that. Then we're going to control enter and provide all the <laughs> provide all the solutions. So do we want to go this way, or maybe you want to go like this way? Like which one are we interested in, really? Um. Wow. Yeah, so it, it's, it looks like it's taking the rest of the thing in, into account, like the um, calculate days, but it's really not. So that might be a bug. So I love this solution. Like this solution is so, so easy, right? V count is upper. So let's accept this one. Okay, so you see, like, this seems like there is a bug here. But, like, we can still alt, like, do the alt thingy, right? Oops, sorry. Alt thingy. Where's my alt? Wow. Okay. I'm loving it. Let's accept this one. I, I don't. I don't really mind. Um, and how many uppercases there? One, two, three. So if we run this, we have three. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sold. Anyone else that is sold on that idea? Because this is completely um, like off the hook. I have no clue where this is coming from. Um, let me know what you think and let me know if it's amazing or it's just another crazy experiment. Cheers.